In this video, we will try to understand how the basic hydraulic circuit works and we have taken the example of meter out circuit over here. Now these are the various components of hydraulic circuit. So as you can see over here, there is a reservoir. From the reservoir, liquid enters into the filter. Then it enters into the pump which is driven by electric motor. Then there is a shutoff valve and pressure gauge which will indicate the pressure within the circuit. Then we are having the pressure relief valve which will take care of the excess pressure that will be developed and it will restore the system back to the design pressure. This is the pump port P and this is the reservoir port that is R. Now this is the direction control valve. So there are four ways P, R, 1 and 2. These are four ports which are there and therefore it is known as four way and there are two positions this left and right envelope mode and therefore it is known as two position. It is manually operated so this is the symbol for manually operated and it is spring controlled direction control valve. Then this is the flow control valve which is showing the restricted opening over here and it is integral with the one way valve or check valve. This is the hydraulic cylinder and here this end of the hydraulic cylinder it is known as the blind end of the cylinder and over here this is the piston rod and therefore this end of the cylinder is known as the rod end of the cylinder. This is the direction of motion of the piston and it is known as the feed direction. Now let us try to understand with simple animation how this particular circuit works. So as the electric motor starts rotating it will drive the pump and the flow of the liquid from the reservoir first it will enter into the filter as shown over here then from the filter it will enter in this pump. So from the pump it enters into the direction control valve. Now if it is in the left envelope mode the fluid will enter on the blind end of the cylinder and will cause the piston to move in the forward direction. But the liquid which is present on the rod end of the cylinder it will enter over here. From this it cannot go over here because this is normally closed position of the check valve. So it will go through this restricted opening and therefore the liquid which is coming out is going to the reservoir with a lesser quantity or with, through this particular restricted opening and therefore this motion of the piston or piston rod can be controlled or we can control the speed which is in the forward direction. The liquid then enters into the reservoir and R as the liquid which is going out from the cylinder is controlled therefore this circuit is known as the meter out circuit. Now let us try to understand how this pressure relief valve works. So here the fluid pressure is sensed through this particular line. If the pressure is more than the design pressure then this particular valve will open as shown by this arrow and the excess liquid will be going back again to the reservoir so that the system pressure, design pressure can be restored back to its original value. So in this way we can say that the liquid will enter from the reservoir from the filter to the pump, from the pump to this left envelope mode and will act on the piston and the liquid which is present on the rod end of the cylinder cannot go through this particular check valve and therefore it has to go through this restricted opening and therefore the forward motion of the piston and piston rod is controlled and as the liquid which is going out is controlled therefore the circuit is known as meter out circuit. Now let us see the operation of this particular circuit in the right envelope mode. Now in the right envelope mode, in the same fashion the liquid from this reservoir will enter into the pump. From the pump through this particular port it will enter into this flow control valve with integral check valve. So liquid will go through this because this is normally open position of the check valve from this to this end over here and then to the port as well as it will also go through this restricted opening and it will cause the piston to move in the backward direction correct, in this particular manner and the liquid from this side correct, that is the blind end of the cylinder will go to the reservoir and we can say that the control is not provided correct, in this particular backward motion of the piston. So in this way the meter out circuit it works.